Hey, what's up guys? Real quick video on uh, Gus here. Um, Gus is having a problem with his eye. He has a, an ulcer in his uh, right eye here. And it's very, very, very painful for him. And he's on all kinds of medicine. Every two hours I gotta give him drops. And then like every 12 hours I gotta give him you know, some other type of drops. And he gets pain medicine and stuff. And he's got this uncomfortable collar. It's like an inflatable thing. It's actually, I really like this. It's basically like kind of a new age cone. You know, when dogs get those cones so they can't touch their face, um, it's like that. It just prevents his arms from touching his eye so he doesn't scratch it or make it worse or anything. But anyway, um, you know, we are got my fingers crossed. It's going to heal up and stuff. It hasn't gotten worse, but, you know, it's been uh, about four or five days, and it hasn't hasn't changed that much at all. So um, just praying for him. Hopefully he gets better very soon. I hate to see him uncomfortable and in pain and stuff. He can't sleep. Uh, the reason, one of the bigger reasons why I'm making this video is actually two purposes to this video. The first purpose is um, to say that if you see any recent videos and that Gus is like crazy snoring in the background, that's because I'm letting him sleep. Normally, if I'm doing a video and like he starts snoring or something, I'll, I'll stop it and I'll, I'll remake it. You know, after he's up and stuff. Sometimes I'll wake him up, get him active. This way, he's not sleeping and snoring because it's pretty distracting sometimes in videos. But unfortunately, um, he, he's in a lot of pain. And uh, he's having a hard time sleeping. He's extremely tired. So when he does fall asleep, I let him sleep. I'm not bugging him because I want to make a video. So that's the first part of the, this. The reason I'm making this video is to let you know, hey, if he's snoring like crazy, that's why. Um, but the other reason I'm making this is just to say I get a lot of interest all the time. People saying that they want to get English Bulldogs. They love Gus. They think that he's so cool and they want to get one. Um, English Bulldogs, you know, real purebred English Bulldogs, it is probably one of the biggest breeds with the most uh, potential for health issues, all right? Uh, having, you know, eye infections and different problems and stuff is extremely common in all um, dogs with the short snouts, okay? They're just, they're just more prone to that stuff. So people who are interested in getting English Bulldogs because they see, you know, videos of Gus and they love Gus, just be, be forewarned. It's in a very, very expensive breed. Um, it's about a $500 trip to the vet initially. I went to go, went back there, uh, I think it was the day before yesterday, to get him a checkup. That was another 100 bucks, you know, and it's not going to end there. i got to get more medicine soon. He's on three different types of medicines uh, for his eyes and, and for pain and stuff. So very, very, very expensive breed. I love them. Uh, I absolutely do. I love English Bulldogs, but I just want to put that warning out there for people to know, um, not to just get them because they're cute. Please, if you're getting any kind of dog, uh, really do research. Uh, about that animal and, and what to expect. And with English Bulldogs, you, you have to expect potential for different types of health problems. So anyway, i going to fix his, his neck's, <laughs> neck rolls getting fluffed up here. But anyway, poor guy. feel bad for him. It's killing me seeing him like that. But anyway, um, I love him, and I'm praying for him. Hopefully, uh, you know, he recuperates soon. But uh, very important, I want to make this video and, and just tell you guys that, uh, you know, if you're going to buy a dog like this, just, just be forewarned and uh, you know, really know what you're getting into because some people don't. Another thing, too, with them is that, you know, um, the temperature. Summer's coming up soon. These dogs overheat quite frequently. And there's a lot of people out there who get English Bulldogs and they die in the summertime because they get overexhausted and people don't even realize that. Uh, same thing with the cold. They can't be in the cold for too, too long, but they're much worse with heat. It starts getting hot or something, they start panting, they can't stop, and they die. So <laughs> it's, it's very scary. But anyway, besides that, just an apology for the, uh, the really super loud, distracting snoring in some videos. Uh, Gus snores because um, he can't breathe. He's struggling breathing. It's not because he's sick right now. It's because that's his breed. His breed snores because when they fall asleep, their, their, their uh, air passages are very small. Their very long tongues kind of get bunched up in their mouth and stuff, and it's hard for them to breathe. That's why they snore. So anyway, but Gus loves all you guys. <laughs> he really does, and, uh, you know, I'm pulling for him. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you soon. Take care.